Today, I'm cooking a delicious tom yum steamed fish dinner for my family. This recipe is for four servings. The ingredients needed are 700 grams of silver pomfret fish, wash, clean with gill and stomach remove, 3 tablespoons of tom yum paste. I'm using the Kung Thai brand. This is what it looks like. 5 red bird eye chili, 2 inches nut of young galangal, 6 pieces of shallots, 3 stalks of lemongrass, 8 pieces of kaffir lime leaves, 2 small tomatoes, 300 ml of water, 1 stalk of Chinese parsley, 1 stalk of spring onions, half tablespoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of fish sauce, and I will be using 2 teaspoons of lamb juice. Start with cutting the galangal into thin slices. The shallots into smaller pieces. Lemongrass into slanting thin slices. Tomato into wedges. Put in the same plate and leave it aside. Cut the kaffir lime leaves into half. And cut the chili into half as well. Leave it aside. Next, marinate the fish with salt. Sprinkle the salt on the fish and rub. Sprinkle some in between the cuts and in the stomach and rub. Turn the fish to the other side and repeat. Okay, fish is marinated. Next, stuff the herb into the fish stomach. Half of the lemongrass slices, kaffir lime leaves, some shallots, and some galanga. We stuff all of this herb into the fish stomach to reduce the fishy smell. Now we can go and steam it. I have a steaming pot of hot boiling water here. Put the fish in the steaming tray and place it on the hot water pot. Set the time for 15 minutes. While waiting for the fish to cook, we can prepare and cook the tom yum gravy. Put in 300 ml of water in the small pot. Switch on the heat. Add in the sugar, fish sauce, and all of the tom yum paste. Use the spatula to break the tom yum paste and stir until the paste is dissolved in the tom yum soup. Alright, the tom yum paste is dissolved in the soup. Continue to cook and bring it to boil. After 2 minutes, the tom yum soup is boiling vigorously. Give it a stir. Add in the cut chili and kaffir lime leaves, galanga, lemongrass, and shallots. Continue to boil the tom yum soup for 2 more minutes. Give it a taste. Alright, it's delicious. It has a slightly strong tom yum taste now, but it would be perfect with the steamed fish later on. At this stage, more seasoning can be added as preferred. Switch off the heat and leave it aside. After 15 minutes, the fish is about 90% cooked. It has released a lot of fishy water in the steamer. Lift the steaming plate and pour out the fishy water. Please be careful when doing this as it is really hot and can burn your hand. Pour out all of the fishy water and put it back in the steamer. Put in the cut tomato, arrange them around the fish. Add some fresh kaffir lime leaves, half of the parsley and the spring onions. Leave a bit for garnishing. Add in the tom yum gravy. Use a ladle to scoop out the tom yum gravy and pour over the fish. Spread it around and over the fish until it finishes all of the gravy. Cover the steamer and continue to steam for 5 more minutes. One more minute to go. Alright, time is up. After 5 minutes, the fish is cooked and well incorporated with the tom yum gravy. Let's taste the tom yum gravy before adding the lamb juice. If tom yum soup is sour, then don't put too much of lamb juice. Otherwise, the gravy will be too sour. Okay, tom yum paste is a little sour. Add 2 teaspoons of lamb juice. 
Sprinkle it over the fish and on the gravy. Next, sprinkle fresh parsley and spring onions. Since the steaming plate is quite full with the tom yum gravy, I recommend removing the whole steamer from the hot pot before lifting up the plate and serve. It is quite hot, but I'm using my bare hands as I'm quite used to it. Please use a mitten or towel to protect your hand. Put it on the coaster here and we are done. Super easy and delicious steamed fish with tom yum. Let's eat! Oh wow, so delicious. The fish is so fresh and tasty. It really goes well with the sweet, sour and spicy tom yum gravy. So good that I can eat the whole plate by myself. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed this recipe. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.